right, we're live at Pace Studio. We're here with Matt Jaffe. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Um, so you're going to play us a few songs this afternoon? Yeah, we're, we're going to try. You're going to try? Yeah. Will you tell us about the first one before you play? Uh, yeah. Um, this one actually is a story. Uh, most of the songs are just like pulled out of thin air. Uh, but this one, this one is called Wicked World. And uh, last year, during the, the heat of the presidential election, I was trying to avoid news about that. But uh, I was on Facebook, which is kind of a dangerous place to be. Um, and I was on the trending sidebar, and I saw the name Carrie Fisher. And I thought, okay, great. That'll take me somewhere else. Uh, I'm a big Star Wars fan. Um, so I thought, okay, this is going to be great. Uh, but I hovered my mouse over it, and unfortunately, it was just a post about Carrie Fisher accusing Donald Trump of doing cocaine. Uh, so <laughs> it didn't take me away, but it did lead me to this song. So this is called uh, Wicked World. And by the way, that's Paul Paldino joining on, uh, on guitar and vocals as well. All right, shall we dive right in? Yeah, go for it. All right. clown said to the doctor, I'm feeling a little blue. The doctor said, now listen, man, I'll tell you what we'll do. Oh, oh, hey, hey, oh, oh, hey. The clown, he bled and then he said, Pagliacci is my name. Patty told Judge Carter, it wasn't by my will. The Carter said to Patty, the beans are already spilled Oh, oh, hey, hey Oh, oh, hey Patty bled and then she said It was all the SLA We're living in a wicked, living in a wicked Living in a wicked world There ain't no second chances No, you only get one turn We're living in a wicked, living in a wicked Living in a wicked world there's only a Ten Commandments, but a million ways to burn. The princess said to Donald, I'm hip to what you do. Donald said, hey princess, oh, you wouldn't dare to tell the truth. Oh, oh. I know you're on cocaine We're living in a wicked, living in a wicked Living in a wicked world There ain't no second chances No, you only get one turn We're living in a wicked, living in a wicked Living in a wicked world There's only ten commandments But a million ways Just can't take the heat You say that I've got nine lives So I ought to land on my feet Oh, oh, hey, hey Oh, oh, hey First I bled and then I said I've already lost a We're living in a wicked, living in a wicked Living in a wicked world There ain't no second chances No, you only I saw, I understand that you st 
started writing this album, um, or you can correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of it is about leaving the West Coast? Um, yeah. Uh, well, certainly a lot of it is a reflection on where I'm from, which is the San Francisco Bay Area. And uh, yeah, I came to college out here on the East Coast, and ironically, Paul is from here and moved to the West Coast, mm-hmm. so maybe our next record will be all about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but um, yeah, it, it, you know, it's definitely sort of a rumination on being from somewhere and trying to portray a picture, no matter how fictitious, of that place. Um, I, I would say it's definitely not meant to be overly sentimental or overly about leaving, but it's definitely yeah. definitely a, a portrait of home. Yeah, and it's called California's Burning. Yeah. Which doesn't sound very sentimental. <laughs> um, no, I'm still, I'm still learning how to, v- I'm learning that emotion yeah. <laughs> in school for that one. Yeah. And, uh, and it, so I guess a happy, almost a little over one month anniversary. Of oh, thanks. Of that album. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, uh, you, so you've got one more for us. Well, two more, I guess, but you've got, you're going to play your next one. Well, will you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to do a song called Helen of Troy. Uh, I, I don't, this one's not off the record and I don't know what it's about. Um, but, uh, oftentimes when we're doing, uh, when we're having band practice, like we'll be down in, there in the basement and we practice in a basement, uh, and, uh, we'll be like jamming on something just to get sort of warmed up, geared up. And I'll think, oh my God, like what we're just doing sort of spontaneously is way cooler than the songs I've brought for us to learn. Uh, so this was, do you remember when we jammed on this thing? Yeah. So we were jamming on this and I don't, I don't want to like hype it up because people, to the people watching at home, you'll probably hear us starting to say, maybe you should, I don't like that or your songs. Uh, but, uh, this was one of the things we jammed on one time and I, I, I recorded this and thought, okay, that's cool. And just sort of, uh, recorded the first words that came to mind and, uh, yeah, it's called Helen of Troy. Key of G minor. Alright. One, two, three. Stars will guide the way This is our time of reckoning This is our time of need So won't you grant me courage Won't you grant me speed Oh, Helen of Troy, won't you come out tonight Won't you keep the waters at bay Troy, won't you come out tonight? The stars will guide the way. We've been dead in the water. We've been to hell and back. And now I'm at my wit's end. I never even began. So come and feel my heartbeat. safely home This was a three ring circus Now it's the last day of Rome Oh, Helen of Troy Won't you come out tonight Won't you keep the waters at bay Helen of Troy Won't you come out tonight The stars will guide the way Helen, won't you come out to play? Helen of Troy, won't you come out tonight? 
stars will guide the way. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Well, as this is your debut album that you that you just released, um, can you give us a little background into like how you started playing and you know, kind of just uh, when you started songwriting that. Sort of yeah, um, I. I myself started on classical violin when I was five, um, and uh, I'm really grateful for that background, but after seeing many of the songwriters who inspired me, uh, like David Byrne, he was a big early one for me, seeing them play guitar, I knew that's what I wanted to do, and uh, yeah, um, so that was about ten years ago that I started playing guitar started writing some songs, started playing open mics, and a few years after that I started forming bands, and uh, I've been lucky to work with a lot of great people, but uh, I'm really thrilled with the situation that we're in right now. Got Paul on the bass, we got our, our extremely talented drummer, uh, Cole Bailey, who's in California right now. Uh, and uh, yeah, the last record we did was um, you know, we've tried we've uh, tried a lot of different production styles, various degrees of polish, shine, uh, and uh, for, for this one we wanted to go really sort of rough, rough and tumble, raw, punk, analog sounding, and um, I think we accomplished that pretty well. It's uh, it definitely is a pretty drastic departure from what I think most people are doing right now. Which is what we wanted, and uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a it's a very live, spontaneous, energetic sort of you know writhing in pain on the table type album, and uh, yeah, hopefully the next one will be equally painful. <laughs> hopefully not too painful. <laughs> well, yeah. So you've got one more for us? Yeah, this one's from the record. Um, this one I would say is definitely. Uh, pretty representative of what the record sounds like. Uh, this is called Write a Song About Me. And this one is probably the the closest that it gets to being sentimental about leaving the West Coast for the East Coast. Um, yeah. All right, here we go. Thank you so much for having us. my toes no matter how they warn you that just how the story goes now i'm one quarter short of the pay for now back and i'm trying to find my way on a torn and tattered map she said write a song about me but i'd rather write about the road first time i saw her she was lying in the grass we both agreed we could forget about the past I had just come from the embryonic west I thought life was a joke, well she thought it was a test Everything was stable, that's when it's most likely to explode I changed my name and overcame my fears Nothing's really conquered if it just disappears For a little while we were united on one front But we were both acting, doing our own stunts The mountainside was steady, it was getting ready to erode She said, write a song about me, you can keep me close forever She's without me I think I'd rather think about her never So when I left California I could barely touch my toes No matter how they warn you That just how the story goes Now I'm one quarter short Of the pay for now back And I'm trying to find my way On a torn and tattered map She said write a song about me But I'd rather write about the road Alright
Last time I saw her I was covered in the snow She had buried me up to just under my nose I tried to scream but I couldn't make a sound With all of my body incubated underground She was probably hoping that I would simply decompose Days have turned to frost and weeks have turned to ice I didn't know demons could inhabit paradise Now I'm trying to get back to the city by the fall But my shoes get stuck on the sidewalks and the salt I'll send her a postcard written in binary code She said write a song about me You can keep me close forever But now that she's without me I think I'd rather think about her name Touch my toes No matter how they warn you that just how the story goes Now I'm one quarter short Of the payphone out back And I'm trying to find my way On a torn and tattered map She said write a song about me But I'd rather write about the road She said write a song about me But I'd rather write about the road Write about the road Thank you. It was awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks so much for being here. Um, before we let you go, can you tell us where we can catch you live again? In the um, yeah, unfortunately, we don't have any uh, New York dates on the books right now. Uh, we've got a bunch of Bay Area stuff and some other West Coast stuff percolating, including uh, Oregon and Washington. Our next... Uh, Next big band day is June 20th at the Brick and Mortar Music Hall in San Francisco. Yeah. Cool. Thank you again for being here. Thank you so much for having us. Absolutely.